Hey guys, so it's Ricardo and I'm back here on the channel with a review of a watch from, well, clearly Zodiac. And this is the Zodiac Worn and Wild Limited Edition that was released um, back in late May. Now, interesting thing here is I'm basically reviewing a watch that has sold out. Um, all 182 pieces to the limited edition were sold. So it's kind of a weird situation. I mean, it, it, if you are interested in this watch, hopefully they release some more. But for now, there are none available. Um, but I just wanted to get an opportunity to spend some time with the watch, kind of see um, some of the design aesthetics in person. Because um, if you guys know what watch I'm talking about, they're definitely uh, out there. Um, but, you know, the guys at uh, Worn and Wound were nice enough to lend me one of the versions they still had in the office before I had to go back to, to Zodiac. So I took them up on the offer and here it is. The Zodiac Super Seawolf Worn and Wound Limited Edition. So that was the outside packaging. This is the inside packaging. I'm going to take this out here, put this off to the side, and this is your main packaging right here. And as you can tell just from the outer cardboard, this watch is pretty funky. So here's your inner box, and here's the, oh, uh, yeah, uh, the watch. Uh, Here's your watch. So here I have the Zodiac Super Seawolf Limited Edition. Here's a little close up. Now, right now, the watch is on a Barkin Jack broad weave. Um, once I got the watch, I kind of, I was looking at all the straps I had, and this seemed to be the only one that came close to doing it any type of justice. Um, but of course, I still have to show you guys the strap that the watch actually came on, which is this cool kind of two piece strap that they offered. Here you see on the buckle, it says Super Seawolf. You have this teal color here and you have this charcoal gray color here. And the way it works is there's one side that will stay in and all you, this is your underside. This, the teal side will stay in because the underside is, you won't be able to adjust it if it's on the underside. And this is the one that you adjust and you would be able to kind of tailor it with its Velcro to the size of your wrist. But as I said, when I got the watch, I spent a few days with, this on and then I decided you know what let's put it on this now a few specs on this watch um, if you're familiar with the Seawolf uh, line 40 millimeters left to right you get a lug to lug of 49 millimeters thickness on this is 13.6 millimeters you have if you go to the dial you have Zodiac with that Beautiful applied logo there at 12. At 6, you have automatic 200 meters. You have your date there at 3. Watch is a screw down crown. So when I unscrew it, you're now in first position once it pops out a little bit. So now you can wind. If I go to the next position, you can start quick setting the date. And last position, you can adjust your time. So inside, you'll find the STP 313 movement running at 28,800 beats per hour. 
movement is well known for its swan neck regulator. Lug width comes in at 20 millimeters. I'm going to take out this strap so you guys can see that case back. If I zoom in here, you see it says worn and wound, zodiac. Right here it says worn and wound, addition. You'll see it says blank out of 182 because this is just the sample. Swiss made and 200 meters. If I slide this back in. We go back here to the front of the watch, which is just really the key feature here. Uh, the group over at Wonder Wound said they were inspired by 90s style hiking and kind of outdoor gear and that's what lends the watch to all this mix of color. I counted. There are no less than about seven different colors here on the watch. If you look you'll have a color for the hour hand, color for the minute for the minute hand, color for the seconds, the indices all have a red outline. Then you have kind of this yellow golden color here on the minute track. Your bezel, <laughs> forget about it, mixture of teal and gold and little specks, little, little golden specks all throughout the bezel. If you look a little closer here, you see that dome sapphire and you see that signed crown right here with the zodiac symbol. Case is a mixture of, you have a little bit of polishing, mostly brushing on the side, but yeah, just, just so much going on on this watch and somehow, some way, it all finds a way to work. Um, and that's really what kind of attracted me to this watch and why I really wanted to do a, a short video about it. There's just so much here that works. Um, it, and it ha makes absolutely no sense why it works. Um, I'm not surprised that these sold out pretty quickly because even though this is kind of a funky design, it stands out. It, it, it doesn't look like anything else out there. And for someone who's looking for just a unique looking watch, um, this was, I wanted to say this could be, this was the watch for them because of course there are no more available. If you look a little close here, you'll see that kind of graphing paper texture to the charcoal gray dial, which is another cool feature on this watch. Well, not feature, another cool design element on this watch. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to get a little time with this watch, kind of let you guys see it in pictures, see all this mix, well, let you guys see it in video, see all this mixture of color and and what those crazy, crazy guys over at Warner and Wound decided to do with Zodiac. One last note, even though, as I've said before, the watch is sold out, um, the retail, the price tag on this watch was $1,095. But yeah, that completes it for my video for this week. I'll see you guys next week with another video on the channel and another review. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video on the limited edition Zodiac Super Seawolf with Warn and Wow.